Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Heather Park. I'm a New York City based R&B soul songstress and you're watching ChannelEPA.com. I pretty much always sang my entire life and I was actually an Asian studies major in college and I was supposed to go overseas to get a graduate um, do a graduate program in Chinese in Taiwan and um, I decided that after graduation all the music that I was doing actually stopped and so I realized that's when I realized it was really really important to me and I needed to have it be part of my life so I guess when I actively started pursuing it, it was right after college I think it's really hard trying to just describe my music in general. I think music has changed so much over the years where you know different genres have now kind of all meshed into one. So I guess the best way I can describe it is it's the music that speaks t speaks to me and it comes directly from my heart to everybody else. So that's probably the corniest and the best way of describing it, but um, it's probably the most accurate. I try not to be too influenced by what I think might be popular or what I think you know might sell or anything like that. It's really just about being sincere and honest and you know hoping that that kind of integrity will resonate with other people. Uh, well a couple of years ago we were approached by Michael Kang who was producing his sophomore film West 32nd and they were actually looking for a cult, like a smooth R&B love song and we were like oh we have something and we were really really excited that it got chosen and we learned later that it was one of the first songs that they officially chose for the soundtrack so we were really really excited about it so the music video for um, Leave Me to Dream really we wanted to kind of make it like a movie montage like kind of video and you know in the movie it's actually refer referenced as Suki's song which is one of the characters in the movie so we really tried to edit the movie to kind of follow her storyline and what she was going through in the movie So I'm really excited because we actually just put out a new music video for my first single called Trust You and it's actually coming off of my upcoming album called Stay and the story behind the song is really about this girl who's kind of stuck in a relationship with a guy and she really knows that he's no good for her and she needs to get out of it but she's so kind of caught up in the lust portion of it so she's really torn and um, but you know but the bridge of the song really kind of goes back to um, you know the emotional part where she's really you know you can tell that she really cares for him but she just can't pull away so really excited about that it's a little racy which is you know a little you know difficult for me but it was really fun to do and I'm really really happy we work with uh, Francisco Ali Wallace to um, do that video as well We're getting ready. We're really so close to releasing this new album. Um, it's actually almost five years in the making, and I know it's obscene, but um, I'm really, really, really proud of it and excited for it because I did a lot of the songwriting, almost all the songwriting myself, so it's actually very, very personal. Um, and it's almost like an autobiography of five years of life and love and experiences, so it's really, really personal. And again, you know, it's music that. I feel, you know, really resonates and I'm hoping that it comes across as being sincere because I really, that's my hope. Um, and of course, this album I worked exclusively with uh, Steve Francis, who's been my producer, and um, I feel like we have a really great creative synergy and so it, it just, music is so much about feeling and energy and creative, creativity and spirits, so I feel like it's really important to have good energy behind everything that you do. Um, I'm really excited because it's been a long time since we put anything new out, and I'm just excited to share something that I feel is, is actually my voice, and um, I hope that people can relate to it. Well, actually, one of my songs on the new album is called Woman Warrior, and it was based off of, the obviously, the Maxine Hong Kingston novel, but it kind of talks about how, that was like the first song that was actually written for the album, and it's all about how, you know, it's frustrating. And I know all my other Asian American artists can kind of relate is that it's frustrating and it's difficult as an Asian American 
artists trying to break into this industry because you know there are a lot of stereotypes and there are so many more hurdles to overcome and preconceptions and and you know judgment and you know it's like that extra it's already hard enough as it is and then you know we have to be have that extra element of difficulty because of a preconception of a culture so it's actually you know one of the songs that was the first song actually on the second album so it's kind of really appropriate I feel like in New York and I'm thinking in a lot of actually no not in New York actually in general I think there's a lot of love between all the Asian American artists um, and I think it comes from again that common struggle and that commonality of of trying to break through but you know you think there'd be a little bit of competition but at the end of the day we are a big happy family I think and um, I think one of the, the reasons we all support each other and I think so that support is so important especially in in an artistic field and in general for, on a personal level it's great to have support so um, a couple of collaborations like uh, I just mentioned before is that we're doing um, Tayo and Magnetic North are kind of doing this collaboration thing and so they I'm so honored that they asked me to to do a hook on for one of their songs so that's coming up and we're thinking about actually doing a, a remix to Woman Warrior featuring you know myself and some other female strong female Asian American artists out there to kind of make it like an anthem and kind of really support that whole message that you know we're here and we're gonna fight and we're gonna we're gonna make through in our own way so a couple of things to look forward to on that front so I'm excited